Let's just stretch that out a bit. So sudo su minus, and I'm going to add in the plasma add-ons. And while I'm doing that, let's see how big that's going to be. Okay, it's already installed. Okay. So. Right, yeah, it's the extra application. So to run GUI applications, routine uh, privileges, this could be quite important. Um, oh, right, this is for KDESU, only when absolutely necessary. Right, yeah, it's only if you want to start programs as roots, which is probably not a good idea, so I'm not going to do that. Um, we've next got applications. Yeah, this is the applications where it will fill in a lot of tools that are part of KD. So at the moment, as you can see, there's not a lot in here at the moment, um, which might suit you. Um, however, as I say, KD comes with lots of extra tools, games, graphical programs. Um, which are quite reasonable, although there are better alternatives to a lot of them, but I tend to install them anyway. Um, this meta package will pull in all of these other meta packages. Uh, sorry, not that one. Uh, the KDE apps meta bundle pulls in all of these, and if we do eQuery on that, you'll see that you can actually turn them on and off, which is far better than um, adding them individually to the uh, world file. So if we do eQuery U and that package, as you can see that by default, um, most of them are pulled in. And it's the personal information management and the SDK, which aren't pulled in by default. The PIM you might want because it, I think there's a calendar and did it say what there is? Yeah, email address, but organizer and so on. Um, so that might be useful. I tend to use Thunderbird for email, but you might want to use the one that comes with PIM. In fact, I might install it because I don't know, even know what it looks like. So I'll have to add in a package.use line for this. So that's... Um, KD apps, KD apps meta. So I'll put that in there and I'll just add in PIM. So if I now rerun this eQuery command, you'll see PIM has been added. Now if I merge You'll see there's a whole host of, well, changes to be done. Um, oh, yeah, it hasn't come up with them. But there's a whole load of changes that need to be made to these um, particular QT files mainly, uh, as well as a few others. So let's go through all of those. So the first one, QT Web Engine needs widgets. Most of these won't be global. I can check again. Um, so widgets, UVW, yeah, you can see widgets is not there. WX widgets is, but not widgets. So QT, QT web engine. So let's put that one in. It's just the same process as before with KDE. Just add one at a time and see what effects it has for carry on. So we've got some more of these QML ones. DevQT, QT web channel.
said loop mean needs mini zip so I wouldn't have thought that would be a global um, flag but let's check it no so syslibs said lib uh, I just realized I've been putting those QT ones in the wrong place because I've been thinking they're a Q. So. Alright, that's better. FQT QT charts. Positioning wants geo clue. I'm not sure if GeoClue is a global one. No, it's not. Okay, well, uh, the next one, GStream, is. I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, it is. So I'll just add in the QML for the moment. So this is Qt Multimedia. Qt Multimedia. And I'll add GStreamer to the make.conf. So GPG ME wants QT5, as does Poplar. So that's a global variable. There it is there. So that's a make.conf change. QT5. QTSQL needs MySQL. Again, that's a global variable. MySQL, there it is there. So let's add that in. Uh, MySQL LMN. Another QML, so KDE frameworks, K notifications. KDE frameworks, K notifications, that goes there. Right, Theora, V4L and Vorbis, I'm pretty sure they're all global, so let's again check that. Theora is there, V4L is there, and Vorbis is there, so I need to add all three of them, Theora, V4L and Vorbis. C 
your uh, V4L and Vorbis. Taglib. I'm not sure if that is. Yes, it is a global one, right? Okay. So that's Taglib. Nearly there. So I've now got SDL, which I'm sure is a global. Use flag SDL. Yeah, there it is. FFmpeg almost certainly is. Uh, FFmpeg, there it is. Free or might not be. No. FREI. No. But XML is. Um, there it is there, and if we look at the next one as well, libasses as well, if we come to that, because SDL is already common there, but let's do SDL, FFmpeg, and XML, and put this one in for the free or one, so it's media libs, MLT, oops, media libs, MLT, So we need to add in STL, FFmpeg, and XML to make file, uh, make.conf. So FFmpeg will go here. SDL will go here. And XML. We'll go here. So in theory, we should just have one change left to make. Which, oh, it's now not there. That's interesting, that libass. That's because, like I said, the changes you make may affect other changes further down. So next we've got here... It says Wayland, so it's like asking a question mark. If you've got Wayland, I need a Glaze 2. So let's look at Glaze 2 in the global. And it's there, so we need to add Glaze 2 to make config. GLES2, so I'll stick it in there. Save that. And we've got a lot more coming in now. So now we've got free type once half buzz. Half buzz is a global. No, it's not. Okay, I thought that was. So let's stick that in. Media libs free type. Media libs free type. And okay, I thought I did this frail. Oh, I've done something wrong there. Oh, I left the version in, that's why, so it wasn't recognized. Uh, to use a version, you have to have an equal sign in front of the category and package name and version, the Atom as it's called. Right, so that libass has come back up for FFmpeg. So let's look for libass. Libass is there, so that's a global change. Uh, not that one. Make.conf. Add in libass. Open GL. Well, that's definitely a global one. But let's check rather than be uncertain in case something's changed. Make.conf open GL. So 
So last one I've got is this open CV and it wants contrib DNN. I doubt very much if that's going to be global. Uh, no, it isn't. So we need to add that into MediaLibs open CV in package MediaLibs open CV. Right, let's see if that's fixed everything. No, it's still an issue. So required use flag. So it's saying if we've got contrib DNN, we need contrib. And this again is in OpenCV. So let's add that in. I should have really copied that to make sure I'd spelt it right in case it was spelt slightly funny. It looks fairly reasonable and we've got a load more so NSS is a global variable global use flag and it is oh no it's not I think it might have been at one time this one's thinking of NIS okay so we need to add NSS for Poplar Um, I didn't even see what category that was in. App text. Right, and I forgot to take the, uh, I saw the invalid atom message there. I didn't take the version out. So now SVG, that is a global use flag, SVG, yep, there it is, so I'll add that in. And next we've got GUI, Network, SQL, Widgets. So I'm not sure about some of these. GUI. So that is there. That supports. That's in the global. Network, I think, is in the global. Um, no, it's not just Network Manager. So SQL is... And no, it's not. So these things might have changed or I'm just misleading myself. And widgets, um, I'm sure we've looked and seen that widget wasn't. I don't remember there being a widget. No. So the only one we need to add there to make.conf is GUI. Otherwise, the rest of them need to be added to package.use. So that was dev, python, pyqt. Dev Python PYQT. So I'll remove the GUI, leave the rest in, edit make.conf and put GUI in this. Must be getting close now. Oh, and now it's saying it needs, oh, I didn't leave the, didn't take the version out, did I? No. That's better. So script tools, that sounds like it's going to be a per package. Use flag script tools. No, there's nothing there like that. So let's add that into dev qt qt script. Dev qt qt script. We 
it's only like this will be the last change. So PY side needs web engine and designer, and I know for a fact that neither of them are um, global. W web engine is not there, and designer isn't there either. I'm sure that's more specific to Qt. Um, yeah, see, it's not there at all. So we need to add in dev Python py side. Dev Python py side. Right. Let's see how we get on now. Right now we've still got some changes, and it was on the previous. Uh, attempt so it says web engine we need positioning quick and qml this is all for py side 2 so let's add those in uh, let's put these in alphabetical order as well so designer should go first then positioning then QML and then quick and then web engine. And I think there was another setting that needed to be added there because there's if you've got widgets you need web channel. So let's just see if that comes back up. It looks like it's saying if you've got web engine and if you've got widgets need web channel so um not sure actually how to read that yeah widgets is not an option but we have specified it elsewhere so it looks like we just need to add in web channel Right, so now it's saying we need to add widgets to dev QT, QT quick controls. And that's because the previous one said if you had, um, was it web engine, I think it was, and then it was asking about web channel and so on. So, and then it said, you know, if you need, if you want web channel, you need widgets. So that's how that's come about. Oh, then there's another one there I can see. Yeah. Um, you can't have MySQL and MariaDB on the same system installed at the same time. Uh, well, you probably can, but it's probably extremely complex to prevent that happening. And what tends to happen in the Linux world is that MySQL is deprecated in preference to uh, MariaDB. So we need to add in a minus SQL to this package here. So dev Perl dbd maria dbd, uh, db, sorry. Dev Perl. So minus my SQL and that leaves MariaDB to be installed which will be the preferred one and that shouldn't complain anymore then right that's looking a little bit better now okay because FFmpeg is the newer version but for some reason there's some package requires version 4 we're getting this warning up saying that um, an update has been skipped. So it's trying to install this newer one, but it can't because of some other reason. So that's that's what that warning is about. So we can ignore that and just carry on doing the compiling. As you can see, we've got another 500 packages to install now. Um, so it's quite heavyweight, all this. You can see there's all the packages and KDE apps that are being installed here, and it will fill up 
the menu here, as I've shown, is quite empty at the moment. There's not a lot of stuff in there. Just other stuff that's been installed as part of Plasma. So I'll get that building. In fact, I should have timed it really, shouldn't I? Just get an idea of how long that will take. Okay, and come back when it's all done. So as can be seen, Gwenview keeps failing. So what I'm going to try and do is to block this from installing to let everything else install and then um, reboot and then see if I can install it at the end. So to do that, I'm going to edit. Portage package dot mask and this prevents packages from being installed. Okay, so it looks like I can't do that. So what I'm going to try and do is use something called keep going. So when it fails, it will skip over the what's failed and carry on with the rest of the build. Okay, 